Let's see, we have high glue, brain glue, bone glue, fish glue. Let's make some milk glue because you can make glue from any body part. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Uh, if that beginning joke didn't make much sense to you, I'm sorry. Uh, for those of you who listen to the uh, Creators Collective, the podcast that I'm on, uh, that joke will make more sense. <laughs> but it's true, just about anything that has protein can be turned into a glue. It's a good binding source. Uh, it's why your bones and muscles stay together. They have protein. And you can make it out of hide, you can make it out of brain, you can make it out of bone, um, fish. Each one has a slightly different property and different functionality. Uh, but today I want to talk about milk. Uh, you can basically distill down the milk to its protein and turn it into a glue. It's a very simple glue. It's a very safe glue. Uh, you could drink it if you wanted to. It's basically just milk protein. And uh, use it as glue. It's great for art supplies and I've had a lot of people saying you should use it more often in woodworking. So I'm going to be testing that in the great glue test, but I actually wanted to go through today and talk about how do you make casein glue. It's a really simple, safe glue that anyone can make fairly quickly. Let's dive in. So we're going to start with some skim milk. Now it's skim because you don't want the fat. So if you have the 2% or whole milk, you can skim the fat off of it. Uh, but it's just easier to start with skim milk. I'm going to be playing with about two uh, cups of milk in this. Basically, you can make whatever you want. I'm not going to actually give you a recipe here because it's something you can fairly easily play with. I'm going to heat it up until it is finger warm. I don't want it anywhere near boiling or hot. I just make it, make it slightly warmer. It makes the reaction happen a little bit easier. And I'm going to start adding some vinegar. Uh, total, I'm going to add about two and a half cups to this, uh, two and a half tablespoons to these two cups of milk. And you just want to kind of stir it in, and you're waiting for the whey to separate from the curds. And in this case, because there's no fat, the curds are almost pure casein. And that's what we're wanting for the glue. And you just keep mixing it until you notice the separation. So I'm going to add one, and then I'm going to add another half here. And I'm going to mix it around for a little bit until it starts to separate. Here you can see how it's ever so slightly starting to separate. You can see a little bit here, but it's still milky and white. And that's not what I want. So I'm going to add one more tablespoon and uh, see what that does. And here you'll see a, a fairly quick and rapid response uh, once it actually starts separating. It gets chunky and then suddenly all the way turns clear right about there you can notice how it just pops and now you have all this curd underneath that can be mixed together and crushed into one big blob of uh, casein and that's basically your glue uh, the only problem is because of separating it this way it's a fairly acidic due to the vinegar and we want to take that down with some baking powder but we're going to do that in a minute after straining off all of the whey because it is such a big blob of casein, um, it really doesn't take that much to strain off. And if you wanted to, you could just pick this block up and uh, and put it back in. But uh, I, I don't know, I wasn't quite thinking that way, so I decided to use a towel and actually strain it off. So it might be easier just to grab the blob and <laughs> dump out the water put it back. Here I'm going to be using a little bit of baking soda and water. Uh, this will nullify, nullify the, uh, the acidity in it and bring it back down to a little bit more of an even, even temperature. I think I used a tablespoon of uh, baking soda. Add a little bit of water just to kind of uh, make it the reaction flow a little bit easier. I'm going to add a bit of heat here, and that heat will allow it to mix a little better and thin it down. We don't want that big blob of glue. We actually want it to be a little bit thinner so we can spread it with a brush. And so I'm going to just set on heat for a little bit and let that blob break down into smooth glue. Unfortunately, I got distracted and ended up with glue on my stove. And as the baking soda breaks down the vinegar, it suds up and that makes a lot of bubbles. And because it's glue, they're very sticky bubbles. And then I notice it and, oh no, uh, let's uh, go fix this. <laughs> After that, we just want to pour this all off into a jar and let all of these suds uh, break down and uh, turn back into a liquid. It's a fairly easy process, fairly quick. It only takes a few minutes and uh, vinegar, baking soda, and milk, and you've got yourself a glue. And you'll be able to see here at the end as it pours off, it's, it's a fairly sticky substance, especially when it cools down. And the more it dries, it becomes a very, very sticky glue. Great for art projects and uh, things where the kids are playing where you don't want anything acidic or problems. You can see how the bottom is the, the milky color. That's the actual glue. 
So for longer term storage, you can keep it in the fridge. Um, usually you just want to make up the batch before you use it and then have a fun time with it. And it doesn't take much milk at all to make a decent batch of it. So it's something that uh, doesn't last very long out on the shelf, but if you keep it in the fridge, you can probably keep it for several weeks. Much about the length of milk. Surprisingly. <laughs> so this is kind of a fun one. I will be doing this in the great glue test, which should be coming up here in a few weeks. Um, I'm getting ready to actually go and apply these blocks on, and it should be a lot of fun. 32 different glues being tested in four different ways. Um, a really interesting test. <laughs> but if you want to see that, uh, stay subscribed to the channel, and that'll be coming up here soon. Also, if you have any questions, comments, critiques, let me know. I'd love to hear them. And uh, that's about it for today. I do want to say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the sole reason why this channel is going today. If you'd like to help out with that and uh, be part of the Patreon team, you can find out more right down there. Also, if you want to subscribe, you can hit the button there or see the behind the scenes on my second channel. You can do that as well. That's about it for today. Until next time, have a wonderful day.